Here's a philosophical question. Does order matter? I'm just kidding. This is a math video. And what has math to do with philosophy? Name two of your favorite fruits. This is something for you. Think about it. Name two of your favorite fruits. What comes to your mind? Well, things like apple, banana, strawberry, grapes, etc. Now you have to pick two of your favorite fruits. Let's say you pick grapes and strawberry. If you had to pick only one, which one would you pick? Let's say you pick strawberry. This is your favorite fruit. So your favorite fruits are strawberry and then grapes. So these are your top two favorite fruits. If I ask you to write down which are your top two favorite fruits, you can write it down like this. You can say that, well, I can have strawberry and grapes. This works. Or I can have grapes and strawberry. This also works because these are your top two favorite fruits. But if I ask you to write your top two favorite fruits in order, arranged in order of preference, how will you write them down? So if strawberry is really your favorite fruit, you will write strawberry first and then grapes. This will work. You will not write grapes and strawberry. This will not work. So in this case, the order in which you write these two down does matter. But does order matter in math? Here are two points, A and B. And if you join them, we get a line segment. But what we can also do is join these points like this. We can pass a ray starting from A and then passing through B, moving in that direction. In the first case, we have a line segment AB. We can also say that this is a line segment BA. In the second case, we have the ray AB. Can we say that we have ray BA? Saying that the ray BA exists means that we start from B and then move in the direction of A. That is not the case here. We only have ray AB. So in the first case, we can say that the line segment AB and the line segment BA both are the same. But in the second case, we have the ray AB and we have the ray BA, but both are not the same. So sometimes order does not matter, but in some cases, order does matter. When we have two elements and we don't want order, we put these brackets, these curly brackets. You might have seen these brackets in the chapter sets. This is a set that contains strawberry and grapes and there is no order. What matters is these two elements are part of the set and the rest of the things are not part of the set. So in this case, the order does not matter. But when we do want order, we change the brackets. We put these round brackets and say that the first element is strawberry and the second element is grapes. This is the case when the order matters. Now will be a good time to take a screenshot. Look at this coordinate axis. We have X axis and Y axis. And here's a point. Let's say it's three comma one. We move three in the X direction and then one in the Y direction. We reach at three comma one. But here's another point one comma three. We move one in the X direction and three in the Y direction and we reach one comma three. Are these two points same? Is three comma one same as one comma three? Nope. They do very different points. And interestingly, we can also compare ordered pairs. We can say that X comma Y, this is a point that we don't know. That's actually equal to three comma one. These two things are equal. Well, these two are ordered pairs and these two are equal. And because these two are ordered pairs, we can compare their corresponding elements. Using this, we can say that X is equal to three, basically comparing their first elements. And then we can say that Y equals to one comparing their second elements. And this goes the other way around as well. When two ordered pairs are equal, we can say that their corresponding elements are equal. And when their corresponding elements are equal, we can also say that the ordered pairs are equal. So this works in both directions. Let's practice. This is the question. We have two ordered pairs. One is X plus one comma Y minus two. And the other one is five comma three. Both of them are equal. We need to find the value of X and Y. Okay, let's do this together. The first element is X plus one and the first element is five. Since this is an ordered pair, we can compare corresponding elements. X plus one is five and Y minus two is three. So this gives us X is four and Y is five and we are done. 